Street for the East yes. this year. Thank you, All right, thank you, Chris. Well, the big balloon race is on. It's coming up this morning at the fairgrounds. And don't forget, you will see all of it live right here till the very end on Saturday morning. And right now, we want to take a peek ahead and see how people are preparing for that big race in the sky. Our Stephanie Collins joins us now live from the fairgrounds with a look. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Brooke, and good morning, everyone. The parade of balloonists has already begun. The gates are open, and the 50 balloonists and pilots and crews are making their way in here right now. It was an early wake up for these pilots who were out here last night for the balloon glow, the ninth annual balloon go, which you could have watched right here on Kentucky and his news channel. However, at least 60,000 people turned out last night for the balloon glow and they enjoyed the glowing balloons, but also the theme songs. Well, one by one, till you shout. 51 balloons glowed at one time or another last night, and the music to, to watch the balloons fly came from popular movies like Beauty and the Beast, which you're listening to right now. The family started arriving just before dark and stayed to wander among the hot air wonders. We're expecting a big crowd out here this morning. In a few minutes, they'll allow the crowds who are already lining up over to my right, waiting to get inside here, to see them unfurl the balloons and then ready for the takeoff, which is expected at 7 o'clock. Wind conditions look good. It's going to be a beautiful morning with sunrise just before 7. There's one change this morning, though. They're going to use a siren instead of a cannon to kick off this race, and that's when the hair balloon will take off, and we'll be following them, Brooke. All, All right, right. Uh, Stephanie, <laughs> so there's, there's two drops. There will be two targets they have to hit for, what, about 50 balloons? That's right, 50 balloons, and they do expect this to be a double task, which means that there will be two X's that they have to hit, 4,600 points for each one of these, and the winner takes home $3,000, but most importantly, they take home bragging rights for the next year. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Stephanie. Thank you. Coming up this week on Good Morning Kentuckiana. We'll be live here on the Churchill Downs backside. Excuse me a second. Uh, oh, David, sorry. Uh, you're needed in barn 33 over here. Oh. There, I, I think you missed this spot. Is this what they meant by the backside? No, for real, Barry. You're going to get the latest on who's in and who's out. Really everything that's cooking on the backside. And what are the odds for good weather? Chris Phillips Saturday tracks your derby forecast. Plus, all the familiar faces on Good, good Morning, morning Kentuckiana. Kentuckiana. Beginning Monday at 5 a.m. I didn't know Barry Burnson cleaned the backs of horses. <laughs> At least he knows where the backside is. <laughs> <laughs> All systems are go for the Belle of Louisville. <laughs> the Coast Guard went along for another test cruise on the historic steamboat yesterday. We're pleased to tell you that inspectors gave the boat a thumbs up, so she'll be ready for the great steamboat race next week. You may remember the Belle partially sank into the Ohio River last summer. The boat's first test cruise found that there were some minor problems, but now the second cruise says the boat's in tip-top shape, ready to go churning with a cold front to the north. This system trying to move in with it. This will be the moisture maker coming in under the ceiling of this cold front. There's some rain in Missouri right now. No rain in Kentucky, no rain in Indiana. Things looking marvelous in our states, and it will look good for the great balloon race. Let me show you this. It's a map of the balloon race. They'll be taking off, of course. Whoops. Let me go over here. Taking off, of course, uh, from the fairgrounds, and right now we're anticipating winds from the southwest. Uh, I'll show you something in a few minutes that'll make me look kind of silly. Uh, winds right now are from the east, but when the sun rises, the winds will kick in from the southwest and we have a shear in effect that means the very surface winds will be southerly and as the atmosphere goes higher up about every uh, 250 feet the winds will shear a little bit more westerly at the very top level the westerly but the balloons won't get quite that high we anticipate this will be the balloons course They'll be moving to an area near or just to the north of Bowman Field, uh, moving across the water scenario, moving out, uh, well, perhaps as far as the Gene Snyder, if they need a good place to land. Now, winds will be light, and that translates into not quite as much distance. They like to run this thing for about an hour, so the faster the winds are, the further they go. But we anticipate right now, I'd say probably somewhere in this area, if they can find a nice grassy spot, which not a whole lot exists. But like I am saying, they will probably be in the area about uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock of Bowman Field, and then tracking off to the northwest. If they stay with a more southerly component, then they will head a little more north, perhaps toward the highlands or that area. It's going to be a nice day. We're currently at 50 degrees, plenty of sunshine in this morning. Indeed, clear skies, light winds, real good balloon weather. A few more clouds come in later today, and this system starts to shift in. We have a slight chance of showers this afternoon. Clouds increase tonight, and this system moves in to greet us as well. We'll see a chance of showers tonight. Tomorrow, maybe a thunder shower if this cold front dips down far enough, but I think Indianapolis will be a better target for that.
with a cloudy, somewhat showery weekend ahead, but that does not include now, does not include the great balloon race. It's a go, and the weather will be tremendous for it. Here's the WHAS Storm Team forecast. Clouds will be increasing. Our high today, 75 degrees. Slight chance of scattered showers late this afternoon. That will not impact the balloon race at all. Tonight, scattered showers, low of 56. And tomorrow, Sunday, scattered showers and a high of 76 degrees. So the weekend will have a few weather changes, but that will not affect the balloon race. We still anticipate it starting with temperatures of 50 degrees and full sunshine. All righty. Looks good. Very good. Thank, Thank you very you much, Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. We have a lot more to bring you here on Saturday morning as we continue till noon today, including plenty of the live derby festivities all morning long. Anticipate probably right around the St. Matthews area at this point. All right, good deal. Thanks okay. a lot, Thank Chris. You, Chris. Well, we are just about uh, 27 minutes away or so from the beginning of the Great Balloon Race. The clock is indeed ticking, and our Stephanie Collins joins us now again from the fairgrounds to give us a little background on the race. Hello, Stephanie. Good morning, Brooke, and good morning, everyone. That's right, the 26th annual Great Balloon Race is a go. It's liftoff in less than a half an hour. We're out here at the fairgrounds, and I just want to show you a little bit of what's going on here this morning. Right now, there is a pilot's meeting taking place. Here, they're getting last-minute information, information about the weather conditions and about which balloons may possibly be the first ones to take off to follow the hair. That's a rooster out here, so you know it's pretty darned early. Back over here are the crowds. They're waiting to come in. They should be allowed to come in, we're told, within the next few minutes. Then they'll be able to see the right up close, see the balloonists unfurl their balloons and get them up and ready to go. Back over this way, this is where the hair balloon is located. The balloon race is sponsored by Humana, and so they get to be in the, in the driver's seat of this race so to speak, that, that they are the hair balloon. You know, everyone watches the great balloon race, but not so many people know exactly why one balloon gets to go up before the next one. Well, ever under, wonder why? Before they go up in the air, they have to get their launching spot down on the ground. This year, the balloon pilots get to pick their launching spot after the name of their balloon is drawn. This was a great idea. I don't know who came up with it, but to let us pick our own because we fly with our own strategy. And, and some people like to be early, some people like to be late. And so we get, to, we get to follow through our own strategy by picking our launch spot. You'll see quite a few new balloons in this year's race. Among a few of the balloons in the air will be a couple of bottles, a race car, and of course the Energizer Bunny is back. The cool car was quite a favorite out here last night, and another new one is the Michelin Man. It's quite a balloon to see. It's enormous, the big, it almost looks like the Ghostbuster up in the air. Now, right behind me over in this quadrant, these may be the lucky folks. They may have picked the right spot for liftoff because the way that the winds are moving this morning, we're told that they will probably be the first ones to lift off to chase the hare. It'll go over 65 and then out into eastern Jefferson County. So if you live out in the Highlands or St. Matthews area, you're going to have a lot of company this morning. It's back to you, Brooke. All right, uh, Stephanie Collins, live at the fairgrounds. Thank you very much. Well, we're also talking about the mini marathon this morning. That, that will kick off. The mini marathon will kick off. No, Doug, the great balloon race isn't the only race going on today. It sure isn't. <laughs> Thousands of people will be hitting the streets starting in the south end of town at Iroquois Park for the mini marathon. And Mark Hebert is live this morning at the starting line. Good morning, Mark. And no, Doug, that does not mean I'm running in this thing. Yeah, I, I couldn't run 13 running? miles if my life depended on it uh, right now. <laughs> Mark, the only running you do is from the living room to the refrigerator. I know how that goes. <laughs> and then back, though, I might add. <laughs> well, actually, we're here at the starting line just below Iroquois Park. We're on Taylor Boulevard, where the race is scheduled to start in about an hour and 20 minutes. And they're expecting, uh, as, you, as you know, dozens and dozens and hundreds and hundreds of runners here. Let's go up to our what we call our mass cam. It's up on top of one of our live trucks that's parked right near the start line of the mini marathon and you can see the start line you can see a few people mingling in the park there are a few runners over there warming up trying to get loosened up on uh, what is supposed to be according to uh, reed yaden and company a very nice day and supposed to be a little warm today but there are folks preparing to get started early this morning and uh, it is uh, just a gorgeous day out here for those of you that are inside fixing breakfast or reading the morning paper whatever it is beautiful out here the winds are calm down here on taylor boulevard which is terrific not only for a balloon race but also for a mini marathon. So we're hoping this is uh, gonna go off uh, as scheduled and it's gonna be a 25th anniversary of the mini marathon. And you see they're preparing right now for the uh, ceremony, uh, which is going to take place here 
in just a little while. So, Doug and uh, Brooke, after you guys get done, if you want to come out and jog a few miles with me, <laughs> I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, tag along. <laughs> ain't ain't going to happen. All suffer heart uh, attacks. We may uh, drive by and throw a few donuts at you, Mark. And, that's <laughs> and about we've it. got those, too. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll bet you do. <laughs> Mini Marathon, 25 years old this year. The balloon race celebrated that anniversary last year, so uh, we're getting into some fine traditions here. And you'll see it all live as Saturday morning continues <laughs> till noon. Indiana's most trusted source for weather, the WHAS Storm Team. Coverage you can count on. Good morning, Kentucky, and thousands of your very best friends out here getting ready for the liftoff of the Great Balloon Race. If you love the Kentucky Derby Festival, and what's not to love, this is one of my favorite events. Balloon glow last night, beautiful weather, and this morning, we're getting ready to start now, and uh, our sunrise is coming up in less than 10 minutes. We're getting ready to start uh, the balloon race, actually, in about 15 minutes. Beautiful conditions. Uh, Pre-sunrise, very clear. We're going to see a great sunrise out there this morning. Winds will be light from the southwest, and these folks will be having the time of their life. Now, there is a little weather on the horizon, so to speak. No, nothing around Kentuckiana immediately, but it's here in Missouri. Look at that. The hot air is flowing at the great balloon race. That's my favorite part. I love to watch all the balloons come to life. <laughs> watch how fast this one will uh, make it into the air. We'll check back on it as uh, we continue here. But uh, right now, they are starting some of the first activity we have seen down below. And from the air, you get a great mm -hmm. perspective already this morning. Jim Turner is with us live in Sky 11. Hi, Jim. Good morning. How's everything going down there? Well, you're from your vantage point, you tell us. How, <laughs> how do you think the crowds are shaping up for this uh, balloon race down there? Well, we're going to give you a look at the crowd right now that is arriving as we speak. We'll take a look down below. That is gate one, and we've seen very steady traffic pouring through that gate still. People wanting to come out and see the balloons inflate. This is, a, this is about as much fun for a lot of people as trying to chase the balloons or get to their final destination point as they move to the east from the fairgrounds here this morning. People who didn't make it out to the balloon glow, for instance, can have just as much fun here watching the balloons inflate and lift off. Again, as we've reported, 51 balloons and all, and it looks like a, a really good-sized crowd here this morning. This is at least the third straight year we've had picture-perfect weather for the balloon race, and uh, each of those years, it seems the crowd out here in the morning has grown as the crowd at the balloon, grow, balloon glow has grown, and uh, still a, a very steadily arriving crowd. There's a lot of traffic coming in off the Waterston Expressway, a lot of traffic coming into the gate over by Kentucky Kingdom. People still trying to get here in time just to see the balloons lifting off, Doug, Brooke. Now, the great thing uh, for our viewers at home right now, we want to show you, we'll be doing this throughout the morning. You see two different uh, pictures live in your screen. Obviously, uh, Jim's uh, from Sky 11 is on the right. And as the balloons fly, Jim will track them. So we'll be able to tell you what street they're over and what neighborhood. Right, Jim? That's some of the play-by-play -play you can give us from the helicopter. Oh, yeah. And uh, in past years, we haven't had power cam. And that really will enable us to give you great pictures of well, first, when the hair balloon drops the first marker and then all the other balloons start moving in, we'll be able to get just a great look at, at the balloons as they move in and try to hit that marker. They have to get within 200 feet. I'm hearing now information yet that there is just one marker. We're aware of that. Whenever they drop that marker, uh, the balloons have to get within 200 feet to be measured. If they're not within 200 feet, they won't be disqualified. But... Uh, they will have to uh, get as close as they can if they want to be a part of the competition and be measured, Doug, Brooke. What you're talking about, Jim, is there will be two targets. There will be two targets, we are told. Uh, I've got conflicting information on that. We'll have to check that. Okay. And, of course, the city and county police chiefs do all the measuring. And they were telling us they take yesterday <laughs> they take this very, very seriously. And, and, and we'll be going to Stephanie Collins soon, who's on the ground, and we'll have her clear that up. Because original information we were given from the, the race people is that there would be two target zones. Now we're being told one. So we need to clear that up, of course, so we can focus on just what, <laughs> what's going on later. <laughs> so we know where to go. That uh, Humana balloon is spectacular, though, and that's not even one of the fancy schmancy shaped ones. No, he's the hair balloon. Yes. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 